talk about the, the day that you had there and uh, kind of a different environment than you're normally used to playing in and uh, really shine. Just uh, tell me about your day. Yeah, um, anytime you get to go out on a big stage like that against a big opponent, um, it really brings the best out in you. And Coach Johnson just schemed up everything to where everything was just going to flow the right way. And, and it ended up working for us pretty well. So uh, definitely hats out to Coach Johnson on that one. Mitch has told me, I think in the press conference here, or either on his show, whichever, talked about the difference between the rugby style and the other style. And uh, you guys have had some conversations about mm -hmm. that. Go into that a little bit. Uh, well, I like to call my leg mystery when we do the rugby style because, uh, to be completely honest with you, there's no telling where that one's going. But uh, <laughs> definitely when we get to do the traditional, it puts me more in my comfort zone. But at, at certain times in the game, you have to do the rugby just for a field position type thing. And they've really done a really good job of making sure I'm comfortable with both of those. Chris, how much has the offensive line improved since the Central Arkansas game? Uh, where do you see the changes between that week and leading into this week where you guys didn't allow Louisville to touch the quarterback? Um, I feel like we've really, like, really started focusing on our technique more than anything and, like, trying to keep a straight mind frame throughout what was going on out there. And that was a big difference between when we played Central Arkansas where we was just trying to get something done but really weren't focusing on how it was supposed to get done until right now where we've, like, focused harder on our technique and that our technique will never fail us. And that's what's keeping us like ahead and having no sex against Louisville, which is an ACC team compared to Central Arkansas. When you guys got to the end of that game, did you realize, hey, we had kept our quarterback standing no matter the situation? Or was it just kind of an in the moment, this is a big game, let's just play the best that we can type of situation? Um, it was more of a big moment type game, and uh, we just had as much as fun as we could out there, and we had fun while doing what we needed to do. So that's what was a big factor to that. Landon, how's, how's the leg feeling? You've had one punt this year that was less than 30 yards. The rest of them have been pretty spot on. Uh, you've been living up to the Legatron nickname. <laughs> what, what, what do you attribute to that coming into the season? Um, during the summer, Coach Johnson uh, got me, it's basically like an agility ladder with no no steps, I guess you could call it, and really just kind of forced me this summer to learn to, well, learn the traditional punt. And it's, I hated it at the beginning, but I can't thank him enough now because it's, it's completely changed my form. I'm more consistent. It's just overall, I'm getting a better hit on the ball, and you can't ask for much better right now. Going into conference, just keep flowing. Chris, I know uh, the offense, in terms of the production on the scoreboard, hasn't been where you want it to be the last couple of weeks. What's the key to, to seeing that happen as far as you can uh, see? Um, to keep evolving around what's being tossed at us. I mean, we've been getting multiple different fronts than what we've schemed up to do against certain teams. Uh, Missouri State, for one, that came out out front, mostly prepared for nickel. But uh, just trying to stay focused. Yes, sir. Keep evolving now. What's going on? Are you uh, real confident playing with uh, Corey or whoever's back there at quarterback? It doesn't matter to you guys? No, no, sir. I have all the faith in our quarterbacks. All faith. Uh, I guess, is it a different type of assignment to do run protection as it is pass protection? I know Coach Stewart has been talking so much the last three or four weeks about trying to get this running game involved. For you, as an offensive lineman, is it a different assignment, or is it really kind of the same, protecting the quarterback and creating run lanes? Uh, our overall objective is to keep our quarterback standing and keep our running back standing for as long as possible. But yes, sir, that is different assignments. There'll be different assignments in pass pro and run pro. So.